Hey, how's it going? It's Jonathan Miller here. Let's go for a drive. I was kindly invited to drive this X5 at BMW of the Main Line in Ballackinwood, PA, just outside of Philadelphia. I am in the driver's seat of a 2019 BMW X5 50i. This is the V8 twin turbo M Sport package, so this is the very sporty SUV. So we'll go for a drive, check it out, see how it compares to the BMW X7. This X5 50i is powered by a 4.4 liter V8, producing 456 horsepower, all wheel drive, 8 speed automatic transmission. Right off the bat, I literally just got out of the X7 and hopped into this X5 so that the feeling of the X7 was still in my hands. And I can tell you what, if you're looking for a luxury cruiser, that feels like the X7. If you're looking for a much more sporty feel, go for the X5. Obviously, there's a difference in size if you're looking for the third row, but from a pure driving perspective, the X5 is a much more sporty handling characteristic of a car. The suspension is more traditional on this X5 compared to the X7 with the air suspension, so you'll feel the bumps in the X5, uh, you'll feel the road, it's got much heavier steering, it feels more like towards an M car than anything else, so really enjoyed getting into this car to drive it. So if you want to check out my X7 video so you can compare this video to the X7, I'll link it up above in the card. We'll take a look at the outside of this car, but this car is sinister. Hashtag all black everything. Black car, blacked out windows, black wheels. He has the optional off-road tires, so like these really nubby tires. Awesome for the winners up here in the Northeast. I have the new X7 in this blue gray behind me and the new X5 in black. So I have them kind of lined up in the front so you can definitely see the size differences in the height and the length. So let me know in the comments below. X5 or X7? Like I said before, this car is super sinister. Finish in this black metallic paint, the tinted windows, the black wheels, the big uh, knobby off-roading tires. Really nice looking car. What do you guys think? The black roof rails. Compared to this V8 X5, the X7 six cylinder is 200 pounds heavier. So remember that when I, when I talk. We're looking at the six makes 335 horsepower, the eight makes 456. So think about that. We'll do zero to 65.8 with the X7, 4.6 with the X5. So I'll put on screen the difference between the X5 big grill and the X7 giant grill. I think you'll see a difference. This car features the M package, so you're going to get a more sporty bumper front and rear to give you a more aggressive look. This car also has the optional BMW laser lights. So believe it or not, yes, the headlights have lasers in them. We're not in Austin Power, so... You don't need a shark with a laser beam, you've got your X5 with laser lights. The way you can tell on the new BMWs is, you'll see in the headlight, part of it is blue. So if you see that blue, you'll know that it is a laser headlight equipped car. First came out on the i8. This car also has a lane sensing, so when I drifted over the lane to pass a car a little bit, it uh, pulled me back in the lane. I personally... Don't enjoy it. I think it would work well on the highway, but on back roads, uh, not for me. So the V8 twin turbo is much more sporty than the inline six. The inline six is very smooth. You hardly feel that car. You hardly feel it shift. You hardly feel the power come on. This car is a little more brutish. Definitely going towards the M uh, version of the V8 twin turbo. This car does have paddle shift, so I just downshift a couple times. This new 8-speed automatic is super smooth. It's almost, almost on level with the dual clutch. Um, I didn't feel it shift at all. Actually, with a car like this, I kind of want to feel it shift a little, though. So here's my road, my test drive. 
of putting my foot down. Let's see how this car goes. Foot down. Oh yeah, it's got some pickup. Easy to remember the horsepower in this car, 456. Comment below, what do you guys think about this all black look? The black paint and the tinted windows, the black wheels, the big tires. You think it looks cool or no? What color would you spec your car in? So the easiest way if you're behind one of these X5s or X7s to designate which motor it has, basically 5OI is the 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 and 4OI is that inline six cylinder turbo. I'll show you guys, it's got a big exhaust opening in here. There are actually two exhaust tips in there, so it is quad tips. It would be cool to get some nice pipes on there to make it look cooler. I'm sure somebody in the aftermarket will offer that. BMW uh, is going for these three-dimensional lights with the smoked clear. I'll show you guys a picture of what the 3 Series is, tail lights look like, and I'll put a card up above so you can guys can check out my video. I talked a lot about the new tail lights on the 3 Series, but as you can see, it's a three-dimensional shape. They're almost a tinted out red, and then this tinted clear part. So what do you guys think about this new look that BMW's going for with these tail lights? For my style of car, I definitely am enjoying driving the X5 better. It just feels more connected to the road, more connected in my hands. The X7, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely, lovely car, but it's more geared towards you know, driving your family around, getting to events, putting a lot of stuff in the car, a lot of people. You're not really looking to go around the turns and put your foot down on the gas and stuff like that. If you're looking for that, then hop in this X5 V8. I just want to thank my friends here at BMW of the Main Line in Ballacute, Pennsylvania, for inviting me to drive this beautiful X5 50i V8 Twin Turbo, brand new. And I hope you guys enjoyed my comparison drive between the X5 and the new X7. Once again, if you're new here, I really appreciate you stopping by. Consider subscribing, hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up if you liked the video, and hit that bell to be notified when new videos come online. Thanks for spending your time with me. Take care and drive safe.